Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome back to my channel. Today is a wash day. So we're gonna go in with our favorite wash day products. This video is not sponsored. I bought this with my own coin, so just FYI. Um, if you watched my last natural hair video, then you know I have fallen in love with these Lucida, Lucetta, however you say it, shampoo and conditioner. This is the Jamaican black castor oil line. I absolutely love this because it has Jamaican black castor oil in it. It's sulfate free, paraben free, gets my hair squeaky clean and does not weigh my hair down. Y'all know how important that is to me. I like to give my hair a good shampoo twice and then using my conditioner and a wide tooth comb to make sure the conditioner is evenly distributed throughout the hair before rinsing out. So yeah, let's get into the rest of this wash routine and then the DIY at home silk press. Okay, so boom, my hair is washed. It dried a little bit because I've been fooling with my camera setup and my mic for a while. Hopefully there's no sound issues, y'all. I've been experiencing a lot of sound issues lately and I have no clue what to do, how to fix it. So hopefully we are all good to go. I usually don't like to blow dry my hair when it's like air dried. I like to blow dry it when it's like completely wet. I feel like it gets the straightest when you blow dry it then, so. I'm about to re-wet my hair, so we're just gonna have to make it do what it do. Okay, so I finally have a heat protectant. Um, I asked y'all on my last natural hair video to give me some suggestions on a good heat protectant that won't weigh my hair down, that won't make it feel greasy. I were like literally at my neck about not using a heat protectant. And you know what, you know what's funny? I've probably used a heat protectant like maybe six times in my life. And like I'm just so used to like pressing my hair out without a heat protectant. Like it's never really been a thing for me, but y'all are right. I know I should probably be using one. So anyways, um, in this box, we have a heat protectant. Let's open it to find out which one I decided to try. All right, so the heat protectant that I decided to try based on y'all's suggestion, so y'all better not steer me wrong. Camera Platinum Blow Dry Mist. Says it's ultra lightweight thermal protectant. So you have to do a live demo and see how I like it. I've never used this before. I've never used any other products before, but I always see good things. So shake well before use, spray evenly on the here and blow dry. All right, so let's find out. I'm not gonna spray it like super close. I'm gonna like. And honestly, that's all I'm gonna do. Like I'm not about to get carried away with this because this is my first time using it. So I don't know like how it's gonna do. And y'all know, I literally say this in all my videos. I hate products that weigh my hair down um, cause my hair will get weighed down very, very easily. So I just have to be a little tiny tad bit careful. So now we're gonna go through and blow dry. And y'all, I am, um, so if you watched my last natural hair video, I was doing a first impressions on the Revlon. I don't even know what you call it. Like the volumizer, the blow dryer brush. 
and I did not like it. It didn't do anything for me. Like my roots were still super thick. And I saw a lot of people saying that I was moving too fast with it. And I'm just like, sis, if I would have slowed down, I still would have been doing my hair today. Like I still would have been filming that video right now. And I feel like the goal isn't to take longer to get my hair straightened. The goal is to make the whole process shorter. So I don't think I'm gonna be trying it again. Um, I think it's just a no for me. So we are gonna be using our old handy dandy regular blow dryer because this thing never steers me wrong. And that's honestly the key in getting a good sleek blowout at home is to get your hair straight as possible with your blow dryer. So if your blow dryer ain't doing the job, sis, then I need to switch it up. Okay, let me go plug in my blow dryer. In there. So for the purposes of this video, um, I sped up the blow drying part a little bit, but I literally timed myself. It took me 10 minutes to blow dry my hair. I feel like with the Revlon tool, that was gonna take me like 30 minutes. Or it actually did take me 30 minutes, so. I don't know. I mean, it seems like the Revlon tool works for some people, but I don't think it's gonna work for me. So, um, yeah. So far, my hair feels pretty decent, y'all. I'm like super oily and I do not know why. The camera blow dry mist heat protectant feels good so far. I don't really feel like any residue or my hair doesn't really, my hair feels a little greasy. But you know what? I also just like wipe the grease off my face and then touch my hair, so maybe that's why. I don't, yeah, I think I like the, the camera blow dry spray so far, I guess. Not bad. For today's look, I'm actually gonna do a side part. So my hair is cut for a middle part, but I think a side part will work with this cut too. Looks like it'll still be pretty even. That's how you know you got a good cut, sis. Like if you can switch your part up and the cut still look fire, baby, you got a good cut. So yeah, we're gonna do a side part just because like my hair is thinning a bit in the middle, which we're gonna talk about a little bit later. Um, and so I just wanna switch my part up just to give my hair a break from being manipulated um, with the middle part, so.
That's so crazy how much of a difference a haircut makes. Like, ugh, my hair just looks so, 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 so much better. I'm gonna be using my T3 curler to curl my hair. I can't remember the size of this one. I think this might be like the one and a half inch or one and a fourth. Can't remember, I'll look it up and put it in the description box below. I guess I will use a little bit more of my Kenra heat protectant spray, not too much. That's it, that's literally it. That's all we need, we don't need no more than that. While I'm curling my hair, I'm gonna give you guys some updates on my natural hair. So if you watched my video where I talked about my thinning, my breakage and my dandruff issue. I'm just gonna update you guys on each of those issues and tell you guys where my hair journey is at um, with all of that. So let's start with the dandruff. So there are a few products I recommended in that video, or not recommended, but a few products I said I was gonna be trying in that video. So the product I mentioned in that video that I was gonna be using for my dandruff was Nizoral, and guys, literally that product made such a difference. My dandruff were literally gone I've honestly probably only used Nizoral maybe three times. After the first wash, I noticed a huge difference in my dandruff. I still had dandruff, but I noticed they have been dramatically reduced from uh, the amount that I have before. Second wash is when I noticed that they were gone. And ever since then, I have not had any dandruff come back. I honestly have not even used Nizoral in a few weeks, maybe like three weeks, and I still have not seen any dandruff. So the Nizoral definitely, definitely, definitely worked to cure my dandruff. So if you're dealing with dandruff, dealing with the same issue, highly recommend using that product. I think the Nizoral in combination with just changing up my products, my hair care products, and using more healthier and clean products, I think helped. I think the products that I was using for before were really like alcohol based, um, had sulfates, parabens. I know sis, don't kill me. I like my hair to be clean and I find that a lot of times those are the only products that actually really get your hair like clean. I'm talking about like squeaky clean. I started switching my products, using less products when I have my hair pulled back. I just, I feel like all of that stuff in combination has been what has truly helped my hair from the dandruff. Like I said, I literally, I have not seen a flake in like a month and a half or whenever that was that I filmed that video, literally no flakes sis. So. This is why I said that I can't talk and do my hair at the same time because I literally have not curled anything. So next update I wanted to give y'all is on the breakage. I've noticed my hair, where's my clip? Oh, it's up here. I've noticed the parts that we're breaking off are growing back a whole lot. I have a few comparison photos that I've looked at. So that's definitely getting better. The only thing I'm not quite sure about just yet is the thinning. So. I get a lot of comments saying like thinning wear, your hair looks fine, um, it looks perfectly healthy. I definitely, you know, know my hair. Now it's not progressed thinning, so I feel like it's hard to really, especially when I'm this far back from the camera. Like now maybe if I was all up in the camera zoomed in, y'all could see it a little bit better. But even regardless of that, it's not progressed thinning. It's pretty much the beginning stages and it's not all over. It's literally just where I wear my middle part all the time, like around the crown of my hair and then a little bit around my edges. And so what I was using for that is I made my own concoction of like olive oil, pure essential peppermint oil and rosemary oil and just mix those all together. I was using it a lot back when I had braids. It's hard for me to use that like when my hair is pressed out because it's, olive oil is a really heavy oil um, and it'll really weigh your hair down. So wasn't you, when I had my braids, I was using it every day, but after I took my braids out, I kind of stopped. So then after I took my braids out, I switched over to using clove water did a lot of research on clove water. I saw such great things about clove water, such great results on YouTube. So I was using it maybe like every other day. I don't even know if I've used clove water for a full month yet, um, but I can't say that I've noticed like a ton of results. I also wasn't using the clove water every single day because I read that it can dry your hair out so you do want to be careful. So I was trying to use it like every other day or like every two days 
and I don't know if because I feel like the videos that I saw on YouTube people that use clove water to grow back their bald spots or cure alopecia they have like crazy results so I definitely have not experienced those kind of results but again I'm not using clove water every day and I don't even think it's been a full 30 days so maybe I just need to continue with that regimen Another thing I'm trying is the Mayel Rosemary Mint Oil. Pretty much the same as like the concoction that I made myself, except for it just has more added ingredients, of course. That oil is okay. I don't like how greasy it is. So I'm currently trying to figure out how I'm going to work that into my routine because that oil is super greasy and I... I know y'all are tired of hearing me say this at this point, but I don't like my hair to be crazy at all. All in all, I'm using a few products. Haven't really seen a ton of like results from those products, but I also haven't seen the thinning get worse. And that's definitely a good thing. We definitely don't want it to get worse. So maybe it's just a situation of me needing to give those products a little bit more time. My hair is overdue for a black color, but I'm so scared to put color in my hair because I don't know if that's gonna irritate um, my follicles. Like I am just trying to do the best I can uh, with my hair and trying to really do right by it and use all the right products. So we'll see, I'll continue to update you guys. Update y'all on what products I'm using for that because I know a lot of people go through the same thing. Do you have like alopecia, traction, alopecia from wearing braids and weaves and stuff all the time. So make sure to keep you guys updated on that journey. So let me go ahead and finish curling my hair and then I'm going to jump back in and chit chat with y'all a little bit more. Because if I don't finish my curls, I'm literally going to be a grandma by the time I finish. So, um... Be right back. So I like to just take a wide tooth comb and comb through my curls because I, I don't really want curls. I want more of like a, a, a high volume look like that. Yes, ma'am. Oh, this is for sure giving. This is for sure giving. We need to lay these edges down a little bit. I'm gonna take my favorite Hask keratin oil. And this is more of like a serum, not necessarily an oil, so it really won't weigh your hair down either. It's a little, maybe like a dime-sized amount in my hand. And run it through my hair just to give it some extra added shine. I'm gonna recurl this piece over here. Gonna use a little bit of this She Is Bomb Edge Control. Just to lay this side down just a little bit. Just a tad, tiny bit. I honestly wanted to go a lot shorter when I cut my hair, but my mom wouldn't let me. She was like, no, your hair has grown out so much. Leave it a little bit longer. 
And honestly, I do want to, I'm trying to like grow my hair. I feel like I keep saying this in all my videos, but I'm trying to grow my hair out to like a long bob to like probably like right here. Like just a really long blunt bob. So I'm glad I didn't go any shorter. I feel like even just a small trim like makes a world of a difference. Like my hair already looks so much better and so much healthier. I know y'all think my hair always looks healthy, but it's, I know when my hair is healthy and when it's not healthy. So, um, yeah, we are getting there, sis. Let me see if I can turn around to show y'all the full. quick i just want to say thank you guys so much to all of my new subscribers um my channel has been growing like crazy lately i appreciate you guys so much you have no idea like i literally get so excited now to do these videos um there was definitely a point in time where i was just like i don't know if i still want to do youtube maybe i should go do something else maybe i should just strictly focus on my hair business but yeah i'm so grateful I'm so excited to get content out to you guys again so thank you guys so much for lifting me up and giving me that push and always supporting me and all of my content. I truly appreciate it. If you are new, let me know what kind of content you like to see from me in the comments below. Again, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of you. I love you tremendously and thank you again for always supporting me and looking forward to my content. So yeah, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you guys thought. Did you like it? Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you have not subscribed already. And if you have subscribed, make sure you turn your post notifications on. So that way you're always aware of whenever I post new content. Because y'all know how YouTube is. Sometimes they post me, sometimes they don't on your homepage. So make sure you turn on your post notifications. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'll see you in my next video.